Purden joins us now. It's his first night back at Addington Raceway uh, since lockdown, so we haven't seen you for a while, Mark. How's it been back at Addington Raceway? Well, it's good to be back, Stace, and uh, uh, nice to have a nice team here to race, so uh, oh, we're looking forward. We don't normally race through the winter, so it'll be a change for us, but uh, nevertheless, it is what it is, and we're enjoying the, having the team back. Definitely, and yeah, usually June and July would be pretty quiet months for you guys, so I imagine it's been a bit of a change sort of getting the team back a bit earlier, so I've, I'm sure you've faced a few challenges with weather and that sort of thing that you would normally skip um, with the team being out at this time of year? Yes, that's right. It's, we've certainly uh, got to buy extra clothes because we're not uh, usually trying to get away for some part of the winter, but I uh, don't oh know, uh, the weather hasn't been too bad, but naturally you get bad days this time of the year but overall I think we've been pretty lucky so far. That's great and you've obviously had a very successful night back at the track so far. You've had two trifectas and then obviously Italian Lads just won as well. Went really nice. You were a bit worried about him off the unruly obviously first time in a stand but he, he looked very impressive winning today. Yes he was very tradesman like. He stepped really good and, and you know, had most of the fuel behind him really. He had a lovely run uh, right through the race and uh, you know just when I asked him he's got that high speed so uh, from where he was he was always going to take a lot of beating. No he looked very impressive and I'm sure he's got plenty more wins coming by the look of that win tonight. Now obviously you'll have the open class paces up and coming, how are they coming along and how many are you thinking you might have looking towards the New Zealand Cup? Um, yeah I'm not sure about the New Zealand Cup at this stage but there's possibly five that will be round about, all going well between now and then, and there's, a lot can change between now and then. But um, yeah, we'll we'll have three in the Open Company event next week, and uh, we sent a couple to Australia, so uh, all going well. If they race well there and um, are worth bringing back for the Cup, they'll they'll be back here too. That sounds good. We're definitely looking forward to seeing some of those horses back on the track. Now you've got a lot of nice young stock coming through at home. Is there one in particular, if, if you had to pick one that people can follow at home maybe in the coming months, that you'd pick as one to watch? Uh, probably a little horse called Pace and Pride. Um, he, he's just a beautiful little horse to work with, does everything right and just wants to do the right thing. So uh, he's working very well at home and had a couple of nice trials under his belt now, so you'll probably see him next week. That's great. We look forward to seeing him next week. And thank you for your time, Mark. Well done tonight. And we look forward to seeing the rest of your team hitting the tracks in the coming weeks and months. Good. Thanks, Stacey.